So lots of people have been saying, Dennis, how did you design this flyer? Dennis, how did you design this Independence Day flyer? Dennis, can you make a video on how to design this flyer? So now I have come up with the answer. If you want to learn how to design this Independence Day flyer, I mean Nigeria's Independence Day flyer, stick around, I will show you how. what is going on my name is dennis welcome to another video if this is your first time here kindly subscribe and click on the bell because i help graphic designers find success in their career real quick this video is dedicated to my dear country nigeria as part of my celebration as a nigerian so what i did in this design the first thing i did was to set my size since this design will be going on social media and the size i used was nine by nine inches i'm going to set a new page where i'm going to design this where i will set my size change this to inches and set this as nine by nine inches okay now this is the size since it will be going on social media it has to get this equal four sides four sides should be equal so you can simply adjust this so it fits in it will still go on your social media and the next thing i did was to create my 68th logo at first and i did like this 60 the font i used was petras which is this and i used the extrude tool to do this click here to change the color of the extrude you can simply use any color for the main time okay and i also okay let me extrude this again this is perfect and I click on object break extrude apart then group this side on group first sorry and group here weld and group this other way and weld you can delete this off group this and weld and also group this and weld okay this is also the steps i took in designing this and the next thing i did was to select all the extrude which was done like this and click on it and move it to the left this way I think that is okay so you have to do this again all you have to select is this this and I think that's okay and move it to this direction fine and what I did again was to use break my circle into two by pressing ctrl k to break the 60 to break this 6 and 0 then then I click on this to trim this remember if you want to trim you have to duplicate the objects first I duplicate this by clicking drag and right click before you leave then 
press shift and select the circle you want to trim then click on trim and this is done this way and i want to shift this away from the circle a little and i also trim this out a little trim so this is done and this is exactly what i did on the 68 logo so as you can see on the design this is what i did at first and the next thing i did here was the background inside the text let me pick this out so this is the background i used on the 68 design so this is the background used on the 68 design all i did was to group these two six and zero and weld them all i did was to select six and zero convert to curve and weld then select the background right click and drag to power clip inside or simply right click click on power clip inside and click here then press alternate and click on the background then expand it this way this is exactly what i did then while you are still selecting the background click on transparency tool and set your match mode to overlay then you set your color to green click on interactive field to take this upward and select this color and adjust your settings press alternate to select the background inside the 60 and click on uniform transparency to get this and this is exactly what i did here so the next thing i'm going to do is to give take this to my design here and this is what i did I click on your pen to click here and cut here give this green color right click here to take off the outline and use your uniform or interactive field to to set this and give it black click on elliptical fountain view okay the green should be inside while the black outside just like this and click control page down to send it to the back and this is how it goes then i want to trim off this first i have to duplicate my logo press ctrl g and duplicate remember ctrl g is to group the logo and i'll use this shape to trim this out when you click on this shape press shift and select the 60 and trim the down part has been trimmed off and click on this shape duplicate this shape and mirror it this way bring it here 
you can press control page down click on this other 60 press shift and click here and press c click on the shape below and press shift and click sorry and click on the 60 and trim also then we are almost there click on this other shape and delete it off then click here and take it upwards a little to break out from the first 60 a little now my view of breaking this 60 was a kind of telling people that these numbers are coming together to make nigeria 60 so this is what i i view but i don't know what many other people will feel like maybe that nigeria is broken apart or something else but what i feel like is that the 60 is in a kind of motion coming together to form oneness okay ungroup this and on group this okay take this down a little yeah okay and okay ungroup this and this and give this white color all right i'm almost there and i'm going to give this circle here right click on white to give it a white outline and give it eight points okay and click on this and give it four points give it a white outline also okay and make it two points is okay and we are almost done i think i can bring this closer a little bit you can see this and this has a little dissimilarity because it's a redesign but be as it may we are all on the same verge okay i'm going to add shadows to this a little shadow and reduce this a little so this is what we get and i'll copy this image here now i will take off all the effects i did on this image and i'm going to start afresh all i did was to change the image mode while clicking on my transparency to change the image mode to overlay and click on uniform transparency then right click and power clip inside this shape and i set it the way i want to place it and after grouping this 60 right click to duplicate and convert to bitmap then transparency also power clip inside the shape and i placed it here overlay it should be very transparent so place it here and i also created this where i placed my brand logo
okay and i also did all these shapes here which is very easy to create i'll just copy and paste there all right and i'll copy this text just as it is And I'll copy this here. So this is what I did to create that design. And this is the final look of the design. I'm going to link the background of this design on the description so you can get it and make your own design. And also, if you need an Independence Day design like this one here, feel free to contact me with the phone number on the design and I'm going to respond to you very well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would like to see your designs on Independence Day, Nigeria's Independence Day and once again, Happy Independence Day to Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in our next video.